Hi, I'm David Martinez and welcome to Cure for Conflict. On this show, we'll be looking at foreign issues and breaking them down to make them easier to understand. Today, we'll be explaining a situation that has been in the news for a long time, Syria, the ongoing violence for almost six years with no clear solution in sight. Let's start with some history. Syrian citizens started protesting in 2011 along with all the protests that were going on in the Middle East under the title of Arab Spring. At every protest, there are people who get arrested, women, children, and the elderly, in order to force wanted criminals to surrender. Situations where pregnant women end up giving birth to their children in prison are becoming more frequent. The level of violence used against prisoners differs depending on the prison, but all prisoners are subjected to a huge amount of physical and mental harm. An amnesty occurred in 2014, but there are still a lot of prisoners whose families know nothing about them. Now, let's get into politics. Besides the army, a lot of fighters are involved on the government side. One example is Hezbollah the Lebanese militia that's funded and controlled by Iran. Since 2011, Iran started sending people from the army with heavy weapons. Besides the money they've been supplying al-Assad, Iran also wants to create the Shism Crescent that expands into Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. Representing the Sunni part of Islam, Saudi Arabia is against the Shism Crescent. The Arab Gulf started funding the rebels to stop the Iranian project and to stop the Russian expansion in Syria. Qatar wanted to supply gas to Europe. Russia wants to keep their last military base in the area leading to their involvement. When al-Nusra formed, their main supporters were the Arab Gulf, especially Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Later, they were labeled terrorists due to fighting under the banner of Al-Qaeda, which is considered a terrorist organization. Al-Nusra recently announced that they are no longer a part of Al-Qaeda, changing their name to Jabhat Fatih al-Sham in order to avoid the association. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to the youth channel on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There will be a new episode of Cure for Conflict every week. So stay tuned. See you next time.